Hey guys, welcome to my humble abode here in Shipleiden, Pearl of the Netherlands. <laughs> so this morning I went to the club and um, I did some footage for something I've been wanting to do for quite some time now, which is the pop top. It's a really cool maneuver, high energy to low energy, so it's perfect transition from, you know, faster stuff to uh, low and slow. Um, and um, you know why I do these videos? Because there's other people doing them, but most people do them in mode two, and then they just show you their transmitter um, and assume that you'll just, you know, put your sticks in the same position and they'll be that and you'll learn a move. But I fly mode four with inverted throttle. So every time I see one of these videos, um, they help me a lot, but <laughs> I have to do a lot of brain crunching, you know, to um, figure out, you know, so his right stick is moving there, so my left stick should be moving there, and that's all kinds of difficult, so. And the advantage is, um, because of it, there's not a lot of people flying in mode four, uh, leave alone with inverted throttle, uh, reverse throttle. So um, basically the advantage I think is that I'm trying to talk a little bit more about the dynamics of a maneuver, you know, and even if you fly in mode two and you already saw, you know, stick inputs from someone else like Foro or Mark or uh, Whamsy, you know, uh, maybe you can actually pick something extra up from me as well. Um, so here we go, the pop top, really cool maneuver to go from really fast to really slow. And uh, basically this maneuver is all about momentum, right? And the way I see it, um, there's four steps to a pop top and they, they go pretty fast, you know? They go like one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's, and it requires different inputs. So what I mean with that is, so you know the pop top, you pull up in an upline, turn the plane and then basically get the plane to spin horizontally, right? All right, so the way I see it, here we go. Step one is you need momentum. And for that momentum, you need to start rolling on your upline. Well, we're gonna do pop tops to the right. I always do them to the right. You can just turn all of this around, you know, so the inputs will turn around. Um, but basically for a right hand pop top, here you go, brain crunching, you need to roll to the left because a roll to the left on an upline in the horizontal plane will translate in a spin to the right. Got that? Upline roll to the left will translate into a, spin in a spinning motion to the right. So first thing we do is build momentum. So high speed, pull up, roll to the left. And then basically um, once you establish that rolling, then you can just jam your sticks with the right input to get that plane to level out and continue the spin in that direction, which will be, you will simultaneously close the throttle, you will um, jam the elevator down, and you'll jam your rudder to the right completely, right? Um, that's all of a sudden, right? So basically what that'll do is, they'll put your tail up and with the rudder, you'll induce a further spin. Um, so that's phase two, jam it. Phase three is the transition because once your wings are level and it's spinning, you can't keep that input anymore because if you give it down at that point, you know, the nose will tilt down, you don't want that. Um, and if you keep that left aileron for too long, you know, then it'll spin, but the wing will start to drop and it'll kind of like drop out. Right, so the third phase to me is a transition phase where you've gone up, you started rotating, you jammed the sticks where you wanted them, and then quite fast you go off the ailerons, or maybe even use a bit of right aileron, so reverse direction on the ailerons, just to make sure that that inside wing stays uh, level or a bit low, because if it, if it drops to the outside, you're gone, you're just gone, right? So that, and get off the elevator, right? That's the transition. Um, basically, you'll just see it spin, even if you don't give any input anymore. But then it'll lose its momentum. So the fourth phase is the uh, recovery into another move. Um, you can just point the nose down, pull out. Um, you can try to uh, stop the movement and go in rolling harrier right away. What I like the most, basically is to pull up, do my pop top, 
And since I'm spinning, you know, I'll just transition with elevator up um, and working the ailerons to a downward spin and bring it to the deck and then go harrier, rolling harrier, whatever you want. So that's it. Four steps. One, roll. Two, jam. Three, transition into a steady pop top on the top. And then it's like transition to the next move you'll do. That's it for me. Um, let's check it out in a little flight. All right, so we're gonna do this with the 74 inch laser. And I guess it's gonna be a flight with many pop tops. Just a little bit of fun in the beginning. There we go, pop top number one. So remember, first roll, then jam it, and then the exit. Jam it, and the exit. And I like to come out with this. Uh, flat spin to, flat spin to Harrier, for instance. All right, let's go again. So, rotate, jam it, transition. Rotate, jam it, transition. See, there my wing went low, you saw? So that's something that actually can happen and you have to be more awake than I was. So you can have a low left wing and then it looks like crap. Let's go again. Roll, jam, transition, bit of left heel run. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? All right, another one. And this one I'm gonna do in slow motion. So I'm gonna go pop, pop, really fast. And then let's see what happens to the sound when we slow it down. That should be fun. Ah, low and dirty, low and dirty, low and dirty. <laughs> Uno mas, and then I think you get the point, right? So get that rotation first, get that inertia going, that momentum going, and then just jam them into the corner. And then take care that your exit is good. Awesome stuff, isn't it? Well, that's the, uh, the pop top, so uh, basically, basically make sure that you uh, that you get that rotation that you make sure you get that rotation first then you jam your sticks in the correct corners and then it's like a couple of milliseconds before you start working on that transition you know working on the transition already oh and for those of you who've seen my video on the crankshaft and have seen other videos on crankshafts, you can make a nice variation which looks like the pop top, which is actually a crankshaft to pop top. There we go. And you have to, um, you know, I can't do two, more than one rotation, so I do one uh, crankshaft rotation for that. Um, and then I, get it a lot of left aileron oh sorry right aileron um, to uh, to pretty much push it level um, so this one it, it does take a lot more work than the pop top itself
but it looks friggin awesome well that's it for today thank you all for watching um, if you have any questions please ask them in the comments below if you uh, if you would like to request the maneuver do so in the comments below and uh, I'll get to it as soon as I can thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time while I knife edge spin my ass off bye guys